The Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus has arrived in Columbia, but before the big show, Asia the Elephant will make an appearance on the plaza of the Colonial Life Arena today at 11. Asia will be presented with photographs of the top three Republican candidates from the South Carolina primary election that's set to take place Saturday. Now, after reviewing her options, Asia will cast her vote for the winning candidate by painting that candidate's picture. The public is invited to watch Asia make her choice for this year's primary election. Ringling Brothers staff will be on hand to introduce the event. The first show fully charged is tonight. It begins at 7 p.m. for the entire weekend. Schedule, times, and ticket information. Head on over to MidlandsConnect.com slash GDC for all that information. You know what, Janet? Now, that's pretty cool for her to kind of cast her own ballot there. Definitely. <laughs> It'll definitely be interested, interesting to see who she chooses. And you know, Asia, along with other circus elephants, are Asian elephants. They They're are. actually from Southeast Asia, friendy. Wow. And their global population is on the decline. In fact, there's been a 50% decline over the last three generations as part of the larger commitment to animals. Failed Entertainment, the owners of the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus, operate the Center for Elephant Conservation. Now, last week, Tyler made the trek down to Florida to learn more about the CEC. So we decided to take the Tyler's Travels team down to Central Florida to learn about how the greatest animals on Earth get to the greatest show on Earth. The Center for Elephant Conservation is a privately owned and operated center focused on research, conservation, and celebration of the Asian elephant. How lucky can a girl get? For Director of Animal Stewardship Janice Aria, Circus Life started with comedy. I was a female clown, the fifth female clown with Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus. Janice quickly found it wasn't the size 17s, but a different set of shoes she was to fill. I wanted to work with animals, I wanted to work with elephants, and I found out pretty early on that it's serious business. So to combine comedy with the, with the serious intent of working with animals just didn't jive. And I had so much to learn. I started at the very bottom. Like every young circus performer, life on the road meant living and learning in a Ringling Brothers train car, seeing the world through the window before her travels led her to Florida and the CEC. And now, some 40 years later, 80 in clown years, she finds her life working with these gentle giants couldn't be any better. It is so fortunate for me because I get to be around elephants and people that I've known for 40 years. And I uh, train young people to come into our lifestyle and be part of our entry-level grooms with our animals. Established in 1995, the CEC is a 200-acre, $5 million state-of-the-art facility that focuses on the well-being of the endangered Asian elephant. And they're perilously close to extinction, so it's amazing to me that the greatest show on earth, which you know proudly presents our elephants all across the country, also has a huge agenda with keeping this species alive on the planet. As these efforts move forward in Florida, conservation is not the name of the game in their native countries. But last year alone, they shot 200 elephants in Sri Lanka. The planet is getting smaller and smaller, and unfortunately, the largest land mammal, which are elephants, are, are in great danger of, of um, extinction. So what's the day-to-day -day mission of the CEC? It's care of the elephants, examining them every day, and they get the best quality food that we can possibly provide. They get excellent veterinary care foot care. They always need pedicures. There's no place like this in the world, so it's really a wonderful place to see the Asian elephant being cared for the way we care for them. As for Janice Aria, working with 8,000 pounds of mammal truly is a life passion. So it's, a, it's a great situation to be in, and I get to be here every day, or at the circus. I love awesome. it. Man, 200 yeah. acres of land out there from the, yeah, from the elephants. Huge. And it's, it's in central Florida, you know, it's mm -hmm. a very undisclosed location. Yeah, obviously. Um, but it just, uh, these people really care about the animals. Um, you know, they're uh, huge open areas, grazing areas, things like that, yeah. that um, the, the owners of the circus, they privately fund it as well. Wow. Um, and actually, we got, to, we got to play with one of the baby elephants named April. I think there's some pictures there. Aww. Um, Hey, look at baby, them. baby, baby, look at, Little, look at baby. the baby. The 2,000 pounds. She's as tall as you are. Baby. Oh, yeah, she is. Her name is April, and uh, she was born in April. And, uh, yeah, there's Jared Munch, our, uh, our photographer and director, and there we go. But, um, yeah, it was, it was just Very really cool true. to see him care. But those animals, are, they're so, so big. When yeah. you go up that close, you just they go Are they miles. really, you know, like gentle giants? Are they, are they really just... They, they can be. Yeah, they can be. You know, some of the males, generally the males, if they're not castrated, are not quite as friendly. They're a little more aggressive. Yeah. yeah. But gotcha. the females generally are. And, and it's like any animal, if you bring them up with mm -hmm. humans in a contact. I mean, you saw the guy who was doing the pedicure, the... Put their, yeah. you know, put their paw up or their, their foot up. So mm -hmm. it was very cool stuff. And of course, if you want to check out the entire interview with Janice, you can log on to midlandsconnect.com slash GDC. And I put the entire interview. Great information. And if, on you know, the CEC, yeah. Yeah, definitely. yeah it's good stuff. So. Well, folks, here's your chance to win some free tickets to the circus to see these pachyderms. And 
live in action. All you have to do is call the number on your screen and name the animal that you see. So come look at your TV screen right now, guess the circus animal, and call that number 251 4891. Remember, you must be at least 18 years of age and a South Carolina resident to win. So look at your TV screen right now and get to the phones.